Hello, good evening, and a welcome to the Virtual Racers Club for another look at another car. This time it's the Mazda Roadster Touring Car. And uh, it's featured in uh, the Virtual Racers Club MX5 Championship, the Max 5 Championship. So let's have a look then. This car appears in Gran Turismo 5 DLC. Gran Turismo 6, Gran Turismo Sport Update, and Gran Turismo 7. God, this is more than we usually get. What's going on? Is this the right side? Um, so this manufacturer is Mazda. It's a front engine rear wheel drive. The engine is a B6, B6ZE RS. Its maximum power is 198 brake horsepower and its performance points are 464. It weighs 795 kilograms or 1,750 pounds. That's, that's it for that. The Mazda Roadster Touring Car is a race car produced by Mazda based on the Mazda Unus Roadster NA Special Package 89. It appears in Gran Turismo 5 as part of the Racing Car Pack DLC. Gran Turismo 6 and Gran Turismo Sport as part of update 1.41 release on July 31st 2019 and Gran Turismo 7. The Unus Roadster was sold as the Mazda MX-5 Miata in the Europe and the US. This is an original tune model created by Gran Turismo based on the Mazda Unus Roadster naturally aspirated special package 1989. The following is a description of the base model. So they're going to just tell you about a car that that isn't, because that's a pretend car. But that's all right, we'll carry on. The Eunice Roadster captured the imagination of the world as soon as it made its appearance in September 1989. We know it better as the Miata. Miata, 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 Miata. And it revived the category of the lightweight convertible sports car, bringing the classic genre back into limelight with a light and compact body rear wheel drive and a simple yet straightforward 1.6 litre DOHC inline 4. The Roadster was a fun to drive, was as fun to drive as it was good looking. It came powered by the 1.6 litre type B6ZE that produced 118 horsepower and 101.2 foot pound of torque. The suspension system consisted of double wishbones at all four corners while the brakes were discs at both front and rear. Mazda wants to make sure that the, its new creation acted like part of the driver's body going wherever the driver wanted in an effortless way. Thus the phrase, rider, horse, one body, was adopted as its guiding principle. Rider, horse, one body. In August 1993, a new engine, the 1.8L DOHC Type BP ZE, was placed under the hood with output increased to 128 horsepower and 115.7 foot pound of torque. The next round of changes came in August 95 when the final gear ratio and flywheel were modified, thus creating the 1800 Series 2. Mazda produced 531,890 units through the end of 1997, setting a world record for production of a two-passenger open vehicle, the fact recorded by the Guinness Book of World Records. And where they're in every single McDonald's or Tesco's car park, mainly a few Asda car parks. All of those cars. Uh, acquisitions. In GT7, this car can be purchased in the Mazda section of Brand Central for a mere 90,000 credits. Of course I enjoy driving it, it's a wonderful car, it's not got grunt, obviously, it's not a big, it's a, it's a, it's a smaller little race car, but in a single series of the, its own map, like, it is an absolute fantastic racing car, and taking it around here, it is what it is, like they said, they, 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 that, that rang true, the one, one horse, one rider, one, whatever they said, making it all one unit, and it did feel like that, the car, it, it does exactly what you're asking it to do 
no surprise. It was very strange. I mean, uh, I don't know what tyres I was on. I'm guessing sports hard. It should be default, but I was very tired when I took it out. I might have taken it out on my tyres. Who knows? But um, yeah, when we raced it in the virtual races club, it seemed like under braking. It was very skittish, very, very like at the back end, just wanting to spin around. So I don't know if, if it's different from lobby settings to the time trial. I do this on time trial at, at 1.30 all the time so uh, yeah I know that the tyres are, are, are at maximum the fuel has to be at maximum when you do the trial, time trial not maximum at all but like you know the fastest it can be so maybe they've taken some of that tailspin away in the time trial but it, it, it behaved perfectly for me all of these cars do I'm not sure maybe I should do these in lobbies or something to get more of a real physics because I'm starting to think now my talent isn't as good as some of these laps have proven to be I know they're not fast laps but I would spin out a lot more. I did, uh, I, I raced, oh, I haven't had it yet, but let's just say there was, there was more spins than I expected me to do. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, but it, it's all under the same conditions. The science is correct. It's all still done. It's still the same subject, matter, driving, and it's all still done in the same conditions. So, as a science experiment, this is still kosher. Stick with it. So I don't know how fast this one's going to go. Well, I think oh, the Tuano, Toronto, maybe Sprinter Toronto. It could be heading for. I really don't know. It's not going to. It's not going to hit the top 20. I would doubt. Maybe just about scrape at the bottom, possibly. But the drive is fantastic for 90 grand. You guys might as well go out and buy one. The 90 grand's chump change. I'm hitting. I'm hitting 100k at the moment for clean races. At, at, at Watkins Glen in the 700 touring car thing 10 minutes 10 minutes tops so yeah 10 minutes around there you, you can go and buy one of these it is fantastic it really is it's just a fun it's a fun little car that behaves so if you just want to go out there and, 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 and loosen off a few screws in your head and not and not wrestle and fight with a car you just want a pleasurable experience then go buy yourself this and just race your ghost because this car brings no stress it is solid it does exactly what it says on the can you can't go wrong uh, i enjoyed it i really do i always do them i always enjoy the little uh Miatas when they come out but however you say it what do you reckon Mieta. Mieta, Mieta, M-I-A-T-A, how would you say that, it's Mieta, Mieta, well that's it, anyway, that's the Mazda Touring, Roadster Touring Car, that's the word I forgot, um, yeah, go and buy one, thumbs up, I think it's great, and a bit of handbrake action. So here we go then, 18th, it did break the top 20, it beat the Mercedes-Benz, but I mean it's a, a lot newer than the Merc, so uh, one would expect that, and uh, it, it didn't quite touch the Jaguar XJ220, but 808.261, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about that really, it's, it's beat the Nissan Skyline, it's 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 not quite beat the back mono which surprised me i thought that back mono was really going to drop out of that top 20 rather swiftly but it's clinging on in there so um yeah mazda roaster touring car fantastic fun go and buy it today don't forget to hit like subscribe and share these videos and there's a little bell on the end there if you want to touch my bell end then that will notify you whenever we are doing anything like either live racing or one of these uh, reviews. It's not even a review, really. I'll just tell you I like the car. But you get to see it drive around the Nürburgring. Pretty cars driving around the Nürburgring. It's all pretty. Uh, check us out at the Virtual Racers Club. It's in the about bit of YouTube. You're here. You're there. It doesn't take much. Tiru, peace and love. Peace and love.